talking about a Toyota RAV4, but you can't even find one to look at. You talk to a dealership and they maybe put you on a waiting list. It's just not pretty. So the RAV4 has been kind of the highlight. Like this is the uh, incoming and they're all sale pending. There's not a single one. They're not even putting pictures on them. All Everything's sale pending. So if you want a RAV4, yeah, too bad. They, you pretty much can't get one. But Mazda has come up with a solution. So the CX-50 shares a lot of the parts of the RAV4. So it's basically the same for the hybrid. So it's the same hybrid system. So both made in the United States, both made with the hybrid system to get the similar mileage. So you've got the 2025 Mazda CX-50. And if I can find the tab, there it is. You can actually get some. They're not all sale pending. And they're competitively priced. So the Mazda, the Mazda quality has really come up over the years. They're getting more and more compatible or comparable, I should say, with Toyota. The price point is similar. It'd be nice to see a little better price. I guess the biggest complaint I had with Mazda is they weren't doing the over-the-air updates for the software, but they are working on that now. So you should see over there updates in the newer models but the Toyota RAV4 has been so highly rated and so sought after they're just sold before you can get your hands on them and that mileage I mean you're looking at close to 40 miles to the gallon on a on an SUV I mean they wonder why the sedans aren't selling but if you can get basically better mileage with a SUV and you can haul more with it. I mean, definitely. Uh, this is claiming 38 miles to the gallon. I mean, it, it's a win all around. This is made at the uh, MTM plant, so Mazda Toyota assembly plant in Huntsville, Alabama. So they've been building them there and exporting. This is the plant where they make the uh, uh, Toyota Corolla Cross. Here we go. So the Corolla Cross and the CX-50 are both made at this uh, plant. Joint venture, they're just calling it MTM, Mazda Toyota. So it's a new, new plant basically, it hasn't been up that long. The, not too different from the project Toyota did in Kentucky where they build the RAV4. Because this RAV4 plant, it was kind of a ground up project it's been open a few more years though so definitely a uh, good for people that are looking for something like that and the Corolla Cross is often uh, ignored or forgotten about but that is a really good car it's just maybe a little bit on the boring side but Corolla Cross is uh, if you need to buy a car and drive it for 20 years that is definitely an option the Mazda CX-50 probably the same thing it's got the Toyota reliability behind it on this new hybrid system since it's a joint venture with Toyota. The the RAV4 you might think is better because it's uh, it's been around longer, but the Mazda should give you similar reliability because they're using Toyota parts and it's being done by this joint venture with Toyota. So if you've been looking for a RAV4 or even thinking about a RAV4, Head over to Mazda, see what they have for a CX-50 hybrid. Get a, another option for made in the U.S. And you should get the same reliability. So Mazda's doing some good work, building some good vehicles. As always, I would like to see a better price point. But if they're sold out, it's hard to argue that they're overpriced. So take a look at Mazda. Thank you.